What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Yes, I was about to say something else. My bad, guys. Anywho, well, would you look at this, guys? We are in the Battle Resort yet again. Well, we're this is the second episode of the Battle Resort. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be taking a look at the exterior portions of the Battle Resort. Or the interiors. I don't know. There's a few places that we didn't visit. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's like, the shining sun, the sparkling beach. Meh, not my thing at all. The only thing I care about is the excitement of scorching hot battles. That is true, and wow, look at these people are just battling right now. Uh, are you challenging me to a, uh, to a battle knowing that I'm a ground type Pokemon trainer? Yo, what's up? Start the battle already! Yikes. This bug type Pokemon tree user, he's rude and kind of scary. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I've already promised to battle with him. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, let's start a battle. Oh, wait. What? Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold on. He, he wants to battle me. Never mind. Okay, so here we are taking on a Mamoswine. All right, Mamoswine. You're looking pretty uh, frosty right here. And a uh, good old boy. Uh, yeah, we are not going to be able to do anything, so let's go with Tommy JDF. And let's destroy everybody right here. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. So let's go, Tommy JDF. How's it going? And Mamoswine's going with a scary face attack right here. And right now, our speed has fallen harshly. So hopefully a flamethrower will do. And oh my god, here comes a thrashing like nobody else's business right here. Here comes the flamethrower. And just like that, Mamoswine defeated. Alrighty. Okay, let's do this. And, well, Shenron grows to level 72 without doing anything. And here comes a Rhyperior, so let's go with Leviathan. Let's give Leviathan a little bit of love right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's do it. Leviathan, how's it going? And we are taking on Rhyperior. And, well, let's go straight for a Surf Attack. And look at this. Surf Attack does its thing. Say goodbye to go to old Rhyperior. Oh, yes. And Leviathan grows to level 72. This is always awesome right here. And, well, let's see. Nido Queen's about to come out. So let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and stick with what we got. Alrighty. Let's go right here on Dragon Ball Z. Yes, I am, uh, I am uh, pretty much on the announcing kind of deal right there. But Nido Queen has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And, well, Tommy JDF grows level 73. And here comes a Hippo Hippodon. Hippodon! Wait, I think I pronounced it correctly. Hippodon. Hippodon. I don't know. If I ever catch one and, you know, use one on my team, I'm going to, like, spell it appropriately to how I say it. Hippodon. And there you go. There it is. Victory is ours. Alrighty. And a Thunderball, welcome to the level 70 club. And, well, that is a victory for us. And thank you, you saved me. It, it's If something happens again, help me again. Okay, so let's see what this guy has to say. Yo, what's up, ready to start battle again? And it's the same deal, and I guess... Yeah, we're just a warm-up right here. Holy buckets, okay. All right. Here we are taking on Bug Maniac Felix, and he is going to be coming out with his good old Crustle right here. Now, what sucks is that Crustle is a rock-type Pokemon, so the coverage is real. So let's go ahead and start with Leviathan. Probably should have started with that Pokemon. Alrighty. Here we go. Look at that. Okay. And what in the mother of Jeebus Christ? That is... Oh, okay. Russell's uh, abilities have gone up just a little bit, so let's go straight for a Surf Attack. And look at this. That, well, it has Sturdy, so here comes an X Scissors Attack. That right there is going to mess me up just a little bit, so here we go, Surf Attack again. Let's do it. And Crustle has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, talk to Batman without doing anything. Level 58, and here comes Levani. Or Levani. I think that's how you pronounce it. You know, I do have the Pokedex Pro on my other 
my other 3DS. Unfortunately, I can't. Like, I can't really, I, I, I can't post it up right here onto this channel or anything like that because it's through the exterior or external cut ca or capture card and all that crud. And uh, I don't know what happened, but I can't, I can't, you know, log into it or anything like that. So, it is what it is. And there we go. Let's see. Scizor. 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 Okay, so, you know what? We're going to use the Pokedex Pro. And we're going to... We are going to, we are going to, uh, what was it, pronounce these names correctly, okay? So, let's see, where is my pen? Ah, there you are. And I'm going to look for uh, Levani or Levani. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's see. And look at that, Le okay, Levani. Let's see, Lyperd, Semisage. Yes, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to switch out right now. So, let's see. Go with the same move. And... Well, let's go ahead and search. Search for a typing. Let's go with the grass type. Is it a bug type as well? And look at that! Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So that's how you do it right there. And... Again. I am trying to find the Pokemon right here. Where the heck are you? So that's a victory for us. And... Jeebus criminy. Hold on. Poison. Bug type. Okay, so there's one. Let's go ahead and go with the grass type. There we go. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so how do you pronounce this Pokemon's name? Let's see if you guys can hear it. Okay, I'm going to point to it. Okay, it's Levani. Levani again. Okay, so that is good. That is great. I think I'm gonna be using this for quite some time, just so I can like pronounce these names without butchering them, and then having all you guys, you know, on the comment section being like, "Draven, seriously, learn how to read." I'm trying, guys. I really am. Okay. And would you look at this? Okay, talk to this person. Will you come see my Battle Resort's famous Whisper show? Yes, I will. Yay, I'm going to get all fired up. And, well, look at this. We're going to be getting a, a nice Whisper show right here. Look at that. The Whisper, or the Whisper that you will be following today is... Ta-da! The Whisper with the fluffy ears. It has a big mushroom. All right, let's start. Okay, the fluffy ears. They all have fluffy ears. Who? What the? <laughs> okay, this is not fair. Like, we don't know who has the fluffy ears. The Whisper with the fluffy ears. Are you serious? Okay, so there's a Meryl right there. This is a terrible show. Like, who has the fluffy ears? Okay, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay, I am not, I'm totally not following this right now. And, uh, well, the fluffy ears. Uh, Meryl is just looking around, and there are three. And I guess, who has the fluffy ears? God dang it. Okay, find the whisper that I asked you to follow. I guess it's number two. Big mushroom, yes. You are? Correct! Receive your big prize of the big mushroom. Now, the funny thing is that I have a feeling that this is one of those things where, like, you can not be wrong. Like, there's no incorrect answer right here. That makes the grand finale of the Whismered Show. Thank you, one and all. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so that was whatever. And if you talk to this guy, <laughs> you really like dancing, don't you? Uh, look at the how the whisper move. Looking like uh, looking at them makes me feel like dancing. Good, fantastic. Now, if you guys can see right here, holy buckets! The Battle Frontier project has started. The first Battle Frontier facility that the Battle Frontier uh, building model. That is not a bad looking model. And uh, have you seen the sign? The Battle Resort is still popular, but there is a plan to make it a more special, robust battle facility called the Battle Frontier, which you know you guys already know. I'm trying to avoid it like the plague 
And uh, let's see, if you talk to this person, this area is always hot, so you can have hot battles anytime you want. The person who created this battle resort has great taste. He does, huh? I wonder who it, who it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these tiki's. I don't even know if they're tiki's or anything like that, but holy buckets! Look at this, eek you! So you really came, blast it! Huh? Then I guess I've got to do. No, it's too dangerous, baby. It's fine, darling. I'll take care of this. You just take the ch this chance to get away. What are you talking about, baby? I couldn't uh, possibly leave you here. Didn't we make a promise to each other? We're supposed to survive together. Huh? Okay, so I, I think I ran into, like, some love story right here. I, I don't know what to do right here. Darling, if we're going to get caught anyway, let then let us get caught together. I won't leave you here alone. Whatever punishment awaits us for betraying our teams, I am not part of anybody's teams. I'm like, hey, if you guys want to, like, you know, make battle... Wait, 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 wait okay, so Earth... Uh, if you want to make Team Delta, then go right ahead. Shoot, I don't care. Whatever punishment awaits for betraying our team, we'll face it together! No need to worry about that. Oh. Would you look at this? Y you! But why? Team Magma and Team Aqua both. We've changed. And all because of the champion next to me. Yeah, that's how it's how it is. Oh, wow. They're like forgiving these people? You! No one's going to come chasing after the, a couple of runaways like you anymore. Then why? How did you even find us? I know how you think, and besides, our leader Maxi came here too. I could guess he, he had a reason for that. He never misses a detail after all. I'm sure he knew that the two of you were here. And our Archie is just the same. He's testing himself against fine trainers at the Battle Maison, taking a good look, uh, good hard look at who he is. I don't think he's bothered at all but uh, about some runaways like you. Okay. So that's how it is, huh? You know, to be honest, I came here to bring you back with me, but it looks like I may I, I shouldn't have bothered. Just uh just take good care of your of her, you hear? You mean Yes. Well, wonders never cease. To think that my little Miss Magma and I would arrive, or to think that little that little Miss Magma and I would arrive at the same conclusion, but that is how it is. So, yeah, you're free. Be as happy as you can be with a fellow, uh, the fellow of yours. Okay, so that right there is a uh, that is something. You, you busybody, you bet I will. Okay, all right, so I guess they're gonna be together. Wait, what are you guys doing? Oh, I was about to say, holy could. I'm sorry. I'm a bit overwhelmed by all of this. Could you come back a little later? Okay, and uh, yeah, so they're, they're a bit overwhelmed. So what you guys need to do is step outside a little, go back in, and once you come back in, they're gonna be like, we've been waiting for, or waiting for you, champion. You sure kept us waiting, champ. We spent a long time thinking things through after what happened last time. And in the end, we both decided that we should go back to our own teams. Team Aqua and Team Magma. We've decided to each go back on our own teams, and we're thinking of maybe we could help medi or mediate things between them. It's like a real Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. Even a couple of grunts like us have managed to find a way to understand one another. It seems like there has to be a way for anyone to recognize one another to move forward. But we were only able to dream of something like that because both teams have changed already. And I think that's uh, all thanks to what you've done. And so that is why we hope to ask you for a favor, champion. That's right. It's something that we could only ask to you to do. Okay, what is it? Um, okay, so what is it? Uh, I want you to take my camera rut. Will you accept it from Team Magma Grunt like me? I raised this camera rug because I looked up to Maxi so much, but now I wanted to. I want to leave its future in your hands instead. Sure, let's go right ahead and take that. Oh wow. Okay, so we don't have a. Yeah, we don't have room in our party, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back right here, guys, and all we got to do now is take this camera rug from this guy, and he's gonna be bam. We've received camera rubbed. Yeah, buddy. Would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, let's go ahead and give it the usual nickname, even though we already have one, I think. Probably, I don't know. Visu... Vias. Vias. Okay, Vesuvius. Say hello. 
Okay, alrighty. Thank you very much. Take good care of my camera up. It loves to run more than anything, so I hope you'll play with it a whole lot. I think. And then if you talk to her, I want you to take my Sharpedo. And, well, let's go right ahead and take that Sharpedo off your hands. We already got the perfect nickname for this Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and give this Pokemon the nickname of a lifetime. Say hello to Torpedo. Torpedo. If you guys remember in Pokemon em Emerald, yeah. It did us a lot. Torpedo. Okay, so Torpedo's with us. Feels pretty good. Awesome. Fantastic. Thanks for this. I'll leave Sharpedo in your care. Riding around uh, on this fella's back while surfing it is the best. Okay. So as you guys can see, we can we can get to two brand new Pokemon. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these two Pokemon. Okay, so here we have Vesuvius the Camerupt. It is at level 40 and it has the Pashu Berry. It has Curse, Take Down, Rock Slide, and Yawn. And Magma Armor happens to be its ability, which prevents it from being frozen. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very, very quiet Pokemon. Let's see on the next one. Here we go with Torpedo. And as you guys can see, Sharpedo the Torpedo it is a water and dark type Pokemon. It has the rough skin ability and has scary face slash poison fang and crunch. And its ability is an adamant nature, which, as you guys can see, messes with its special attack. And it does have the walk and berry. The walk and berry. All right, so let's move on to the next thing right here. And that is to this little hut or tiki or whatever you like to call it. Let's see. Oh my, you're a trainer, aren't you? And you came all this way out here? I live a, a, f a or I live a life free from worldly cares here. Just raising uh, berries uh, here. I think I'll take uh, the berries and take the strong trainers. And, uh, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you see how much I care about reading this right now? We get ourselves a grep of berry, but every single day you'll be able to get a berry from here. That gentleman, in the, that gentleman is a famous trainer in the country that he fails from. It seems like he is quite taken with you. Huh. Let's see. He is Japanese. Chinese. Don't know. Don't know what he says. Please comment down below. I'm gonna win 100 times in a row in a battle maze on, but I'm not very good yet. So win 100 times in a row in my place, okay? Yeah, not going to happen. Yeah. I could say that I'm a little lazy about that. Probably, maybe, I do not know. Just a little bit lazy. Okay, so let's see. What if we talk to this guy right here, and he's gonna be like, this place is the best! In addition to the beach surrounding the island, there's even a daycare. That is true. Now, if you go into this area right here, there's gonna be a few things that you can find. A few huts and all that stuff. And here we have this individual. He's gonna be like, if you're a trainer, you will show me how you're raising your Pokemon with loving care. Sure. Which Pokemon will you show me? I am going to show you Tommy JDF because, well, that is my first Pokemon. He's like, oh, this Blaziken was at level 5 when you first met. Right now, he's at level 73. You raised it quite well. I feel your love for this Pokemon. You clearly make an effort to travel with your Pokemon and raise them. This is a token of gratitude for showing me your great love for your Pokemon. And here we get ourselves a footprint berry or a footprint ribbon. <coughs> Hate this cough. And this fantastic footprint ribbon shows the love that you've given your Blaziken. The number of footprints shows the amount of uh, your love. Thanks, uh, thank, thank you for showing me your wonderful bond between you and your Pokemon. Okay. Talk to her. You look like you'd be good at Pokemon battles. This belongs to someone like you. And here we get ourselves a level release. What is this? So the level release is a, a, de a decoration you can use on your secret base. If you set it up and yeah, activate it, it activated in your base, you'll be able to negate any level limitations in the battle. A serious battle in a secret base with no limits. Don't don't you get excited by just imagining it? Oh, wow. So, it looks like to me, yeah, we're gonna yeah, it looks like to me we're, we're gonna have some interesting battles once we get to our uh, you know, our, our whatchamacallit our, our secret base. Now, if you guys talk to this guy, he's like, I've collected a 197 BP, just three more, and I can change my Drudicon as a barrel ability. And aim for the Pokemon World Championships. Aim for the world. I'll conquer the world with my Dragon-type Pokemon. Okay. And, well, let's go ahead and come in here. And as you guys can see, Looker's right here. Poor man. It seems he has amnesia. Huh. Huh. You again. I apologize for my actions earlier. 
the truth is, the truth of the matter is, I have no idea in the world what I'm doing here. Or even who I am. The first thing of which I can remember is awakening here upon this beach, baffled, lacking awareness of the circumstances that brought me here, and that, and at that moment, you appeared. I feel as though I have something, uh, some duty that I should be accomplishing, but of wit, I can remember nothing. Please pardon me for going about your, or about myself. In fact, I feel quite uneasy. Of course, I must thank you for finding me. And this is where you get the Audi Knight. Oh. That I found in a pocket of my overcoat. It was the only thing I had on me. I do not know if it will prove worth anything, but I am glad to give it to you. Huh. Okay, so the Audi Knight. That is my question is how in the heck does Audino? Okay, out of all Pokemon, Audino gets a mega evolution from the Unova region and nobody else. How do they skip a whole generation, or like, better yet, like, I, well, eh, you know what, I'm, I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna be arguing, continuing the arguments and all that stuff, but how in the heck do you not give Mega Evolutions to other Pokemon? That, that right there, you know, it grinds my gears, it really does. So, let's go right ahead, and, uh, if we can only go down right here, I think there's two huts that you can, uh, you can actually swim to, and that, that's what we're gonna be going to right now. Let's go. Let's go straight to the huts right here, and no, they're just, they're just huts. You really, you, you, you can't do anything. Wow, that is, a uh, that's highly disappointing. Anywho, we're gonna stop our episode right here, because in the next episode, guys, it's gonna be an instructive episode, and, uh, hopefully you'll be there to, uh, you know, to watch it all. So, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon, y or Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.